Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. Today, or actually, let's we'll go back. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulant Rejection Technology Game Times 4, 5, and 7. Now, we do have a Supreme 8, but it's going to decide that it's going to be used for uh, company contracts only, which means you have to show a business tax ID number or license to show that you basically are a legitimate business in order to get access to that particular screen paint. Now, what I mean by pre coded, it means that technology will be used basically to upgrade and pre-code um, projection screens to turn them into black technology. Um, also too, we will be using it too for some pre-coded screens like a wallpaper screen that we're working on which will be a Supreme 8 and some other screens we're looking at. Maybe a aluminum fixed frame screen may be in the works. Now also too, um, um, so that won't, you won't see too many videos on a Supreme 8 due to that fact, but we do have a couple of things you may, we may display like the wallpaper and some other screens we're gonna be working on. All right, so let's talk about uh, the packages we have here, not packages, but actually we have, they're kits now because they come with two items. So this is what we've been adding in since day one. I've been doing this since day one, adding in blackout cloth for customers because we have some customers who can't paint on their walls uh, due to the fact that they may have restrictions and they can't paint. So they may need a projection screen to help them build and design their own screen. So. This is a screen that comes with our um, our two quart. These are how our containers are packed. They're sealed. We have a uh, um, tamper seals on all our containers now uh, to make sure that you know when you get them. You know what I mean? It shows that it's never been opened. This actually has a, a seal right across the top of it. So anyway, so this is a two quart, two quarts, and uh, the one quart containers will come with whether it be Superior or whether it be the Supreme. They will come with a, um, a a blackout cloth surface that is actually, I think this is this is pretty big. This is six feet by nine feet. Keep in mind, a hundred and twenty inch screen is actually about five feet by nine feet. This is going to be six feet by nine feet. Uh, this one right here is uh, um, the big boy screen. So this is a screen that comes with gallons. I don't have a gallon size of the Superior actually um, uh, done up yet, but I'm gonna be doing that today, getting that ready. But this is a gallon size of a Supreme. Now Supreme goes for around $559. Keep in mind, the screen produces images outside on 1100 lumens. I've yet seen anybody to do that challenge yet. Uh, also too, um, it absolutely looks amazing. They are like plasma TVs. So anyway, this comes with a blackout cloth surface. Get this, that's 10 feet high and 20 feet wide. Yeah, because with a gallon, you can paint up to a 200 inch screen. So guess what? Boom! You can paint a 200 inch screen. This is the black borderless blackout cloth. Uh, we started offering first to our customers and it comes with a screen size that is 10 feet by 20 feet. That is massive! So you know, those of you who are going to be building those 200 inch screens, you're going to build 150, 160, 170, 200 inches, you're going to do 235.1 and a 178, however way you're going to do it, at least you have the surface now to do it, because it's really hard to find a surface that's 200 inches, it really is, and it can be expensive too, so this comes for free when you buy the gallon kit as a massive screen. So over here, we have an everyday screen. It's coated all white just to show you exactly the difference on what I'm about to display. So today I'm going to be showing you um, a uh, first roll-on Supreme. Sorry, not Supreme. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, Supreme. I get the Supreme and Superior mixed up because names just sound so much alike. But yes, a Superior, and I did it again, a Supreme. Let's back it up. A Supreme. 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 Let's get that mixed up. All right, so a Supreme 7 is spray on only. So I have customers that may get a little intimidated with a paint sprayer. And also too, if you're doing a screen size of 200 inches, that's gonna be a pretty big screen to spray inside your home. Even at 150, it's gonna be a pretty big screen to spray inside your home. So I thought it'd be uh, a good idea to start working on the roll-on. Now, sorry, if I'm just not getting around to it because I did mention it a few days ago in a, in a video, but I've been overwhelmed. I got orders that are pumping through. I have contracts. So it's been very, very interesting, and we've been working on a black inflatable screen. So some things, you know, I'm working on a project with a company with a black inflatable screen. All right, so first things first, let's get this to lay down. And I had to repaint the shop. If you notice, the ceiling's no longer black, it's white. So that was a job on its own today. Let's come over here and put this right here. All right, and I'll lay this down. Okay, let's start 
setting up to test the first demonstration on a roll-on Supreme 7. All right, so there we are. We got it down there. Nice start. This is the black mark is because I laid the roller on there. Sometimes I wash out my rollers. Shake it up real good. And pour some of it out. So I think what we're going to do is, hold on for a minute. I'm going to do half the screen. I'm going to leave one half of it already, uh, I'm going to leave one half of it already uh, white. And the other half, we're just going to coat that black. All right, and it doesn't make a difference on the roller. It can be, as long as it's not a foam roller. But it doesn't really make a difference if it's nap or whatever. You know, it's just going to roll on with no problem. First things first, let me get this camera strap out of the way. All right, so let's hold this on. So yeah, imagine painting your uh, your workshop. It's all white, and every majority, all the screens you have in here are black. I'm telling you, that's a job on its own not to hit any of those screens. Even though I had them covered up, but still, you know, paint goes everywhere when it wants to go. The first thing I'm gonna look for, like the coat, how fast the coats on. And this is a no priming application right here. And then on top of that, all, not all customers are gonna go up and down in a paint formation, they're just not. They're gonna paint all over the screen. So you don't have to worry about whether or not if you paint it this way or that way. You don't have to do an up and down robot formation. It's not necessary. It really isn't. Some people wanna make it seem complicated that you have to go in this up and down robot formation, but you don't. It goes on nice and smooth, see this? Very easy. So we're just going to do half of it and do the whole screen. Let me get this right here a little better. Goes on very smooth. This goes on very smooth. All right. So this was in works for a while. I just didn't get time to do the demonstration. But like I said, I'm working on a few projects with a couple companies. So I just haven't had time to get around to it. And then I have customers orders and stuff like that that have to be taken care of. So, you know, a lot had to be done. So I just didn't have the time at the time to get it done. All right, so that's done. We only did half the screen, that's it. I'll do the other half later on. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute and set the screen up. I'll be right back. Just stare at my wallpaper screen over there. get all this hoopla out of the way. We'll come back and show you what we got. All right, so I'll start my demonstration now if I can get the my cell phone to act right. Sometimes my screen doesn't want to, you know how you adjust your screen on your cell phone? Like, you know, when it moves around, it rotates, mine just fights me every chance it gets. Now it's the first look at a roll-on version of a Supreme 7. Just to give an idea on how much you're missing. My projector music behind me is 4200 lumens. So it's just to show you, even on a white screen, if you use 4200 lumens, you just are not going to come close to black technology. Same thing with a light gray screen. Light gray screen reacts the same way as a white screen. It gives off maybe a little bit of some contrast, but not on a level of a black screen. Never. Later on, we'll do this demonstration on 1100 lumens because I have that here also.
It's also a nice wake-up call for those of you who have churches, you know, and you have all different forms of uh, outdoor setups. This technology is designed, never mind, you can put the screen outside, but you have all kinds of settings and stuff like that for outdoor events, churches, and businesses. A black screen is the best way to go. Look at this. See how I can see the stars here? All that detail? On a white screen, gone. And I see people use these white screens. They use very high-end projectors, 5,000. They use uh, 10,000, 7,000, 8,000, 6,000. I don't know, different ranges, but that's what they use. And they think that's going to make up for the contrast. Or some kind of decent picture quality. You're just not going to get it. Your mind, the screen is still wet. Now this will make it a lot easier for those of you who do not want to use a paint sprayer. You can just roll the screen on. And just to show you, even if you have a projector 4200 lumens, you're not going to see it. And yes, I'm going to do bright colors because there's no point in doing a demonstration if you're not going to do color. If you're not going to add color to it, it's no point. You know, because a lot of people will do demonstrations, they will strictly show a lot of contrast. Now, of course, contrast against a white screen or a light gray screen, a contrast screen will always be better, always be top notch. But what you have to do is you got to take it to the next level. Let's see what a white screen looks like next to a black screen. Let's see how high the white levels are. And Supreme Sevens and Superiors have outstanding white levels. Now, look at this. I'm doing a side by side, a black screen versus next to a white screen. And I'm doing color levels. Usually, like I said, in these demonstrations, they use dark contrast. Now, I did that to begin with just to show you that those of you who are going to be using a projector of 4,200 lumens or even high-end projectors. And I see a lot of churches, I see a lot of uh, businesses doing this, using these very high-end projectors, thinking it's going to give them some picture color, it's going to give them some pop, it's going to give them detail. No, you're never going to get that from a white screen. And this is to show you that a black screen that we have right here is producing Beautiful color, high enough contrast where the picture looks decent. Now, if you hit a uh, white screen with a high enough lumen projector, you get something what I call whitewash, where it's just so much white light coming off that bright screen that the picture just looks absolutely washed out. That's what you're getting. That's what you're seeing. But look on the contrast screen. Look how beautiful it looks. And this projector is only 720p. We're only using a 720p projector. And that's it. There's no 4K. There's no, um, there's no uh, uh, 1080p. This is a 720p projector I'm using. And mind you, the screen is the technology we're using, the um, Supreme 7, is still wet. Now, as the screen starts to dry, it gets brighter. But when they're wet, they're dark. And it's still producing better color and white levels than a white screen. 
and you can see 100% what you're missing. This is why when people use white screens or light gray screens, they're always done in dark environments. I guarantee you bar none. I guarantee you bar none. Tell me when you've ever seen a light gray screen or a white screen do a black dark contrast demonstration with all the lights on. Can't do it. Screen will wash out. They can't even take them outside because they'll wash out. We could take a black screen, stick it outside, and it'll produce an image on 1100 lumens. I haven't seen anyone do that demonstration yet, because we did put that out as a challenge. I haven't seen anybody do it yet, but that just shows you how superior this is. And superior is supreme either way. But as you're seeing this right here, this also too is a bit of relief for those of you who do not want to spray and you don't want to use a spray can. And those you want to use a spray can, it's up to you. But now we have it in a roll-on version. This makes it much more easier for you to be able to apply the screen, especially if you're doing a screen of 200 inches. So I like doing the bright colors. I love doing the bright colors just to show you on our end exactly what you're getting. With this technology, you don't have to spend a lot of money for a projector. You don't have to spend a lot of money for a projector. You don't have to go overboard with it. You don't have to worry about if it has enough contrast. This projector has a 600 to 1 contrast. That's it. Now, you'll pay more for a projector. If a projector has a 20,000 to 1, or 10,001, that's an extra perk. You're going to pay more for that projector. This projector has a 600 to 1 contrast. That's it. So contrast is not an issue with a black screen. You're going to get that regardless. Do a much brighter demonstration. We do some fish. Now the new Supreme Seven Roll On will be available next week. Uh, we have scheduled date to actually have it. And the first thing, it'll be available in the one quart and two quart containers. One gallons will be coming up very soon. They will come with blackout cloth surfaces. Uh, like I said, two quarts and one quart will come with a blackout cloth surface. That will be around, uh, I think it's six feet, six feet by nine feet. And then when the one gallons reach, they will come with a blackout cloth that's 10 feet by 20 feet. So that's going to be a giant screen right there. That screen's going to be humongous in your home. But this is just to show you, even when using bright colors, how amazing the technology looks. Produces very high, high, high white levels. Let's go with some very beautiful fish. All right, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Game, times four, five, and seven. This right here is the first look at a Supreme 7 roll-on screen. One coat application, that's it, you're done. You get a good idea exactly what you're getting out of your screen, look at this. I think before my time runs out here, I'm going to go back a minute over here. It's one of the problems you have with white screens and light gray screens is you have to be in the dark in order for that screen to pop. So I'm just going to come over here and take some of my lights out here real quick. That light didn't want to go out. I thought it was going out and the one but came back on. All right, 
so you can see exactly what you're getting with the lights out. I think I started that demonstration. And this is for those of you who have dedicated theater setups, just want to show you what you're getting. And same thing goes with a gray screen. I can paint half of this screen with bare silver screen. It'll react the same way. It's going to, bare silver screen will give you a bit of a, a small amount of contrast, but it's, it's never going to give you black. You're never going to get black contrast. It's just not going to work. This is just to show you how high the white levels are on our technology next to a white screen with the lights out. So if you got a dedicated movie theater setup, you got a white screen, or you got a light gray screen, and the same thing. I'm gonna do me another screen with a light gray screen. I got a bigger screen in the back. I'm gonna do half of it in light gray, and the other half with our black technology. The same demonstration. I guarantee it reacts the same way. It'll be a similar little difference, but you'll see it. It'll be to boost a little bit in color, but the minute those lights come on, boom, it's gonna be gone. It's gonna disappear. All right, and I hate to show you this part. This is the contrast. I'm sure it's going to look pretty bad on that white screen. Sorry about that. Show how high the white levels are. Lights out. White levels are extremely bright. Yeah, if I were to turn on one light in here. Start the feed. That's me almost tripping over something. Usually in every video I trip over something. Almost got me that time. Show you my lights. These are floodlights. We don't have I have a regular light bulb over here and it's extremely bright. That's my regular light bulb. That's very bright. Look how bright this thing is when it comes on. It's very bright. Make sure you have enough light hitting the screen. Show you what you're getting. All right, I gotta get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Like I said, the roll on would be available very soon. I gotta go and God bless.